In other, let's go, let's go, let's cheer things up. Uh, right. A corpse believed to be the leader of a controversial Colorado religious group was found mummified in a sleeping bag wrapped in Christmas lights, missing its eyes, uh, but with glitter on its face. That does, that does sound very... Uh... Christmassy? Uh, culty. Got no eyes. Yeah. <laughs> what I find weird about this is um, they think her eyes just evaporated naturally. Well, and the body was only lost for two weeks. Was, was was only like dead for two weeks. Well, your eyes do seem pretty perishable compared to the rest. Yeah, of you. I'd never. I just never thought of it before. But like, I didn't realize that after two weeks you had no eyes. Yeah, like two, two weeks. weeks is... I mean, it makes sense when you think about it. But I just never thought about it before because your eyes are mainly liquid, right? I yeah. Mean, once you pop them, it's only going to be like a time before it seeps out everywhere. Yeah, they could just could just try out yeah or just yeah you know, once the you know membrane has decayed enough and all the liquid comes out yeah well, eyes, eyes are gone Maybe that's why you blink so much just so you can make sure they're still there yeah so you don't become a mummified christmas corpse mm. uh the remains are believed to be of amy carlson 45 known to her followers as mother god who was <laughs> pick one <laughs> got, got a bit of an ego on her <laughs> yeah are you god or are you a mother <laughs> Mother God, I am the mother of I God. Suppose, well, I suppose Christian God is Father, isn't he? Yeah. Well, that's, that's like, Daddy God and I'm Mummy God. Yeah, it's, it's not <laughs> Father God, it's God the Father. Yeah. And I think Mother God is I'm God's mother. It feels <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like Mother Goose. Yeah, but of deities. Uh, she was a self-proclaimed divine being from the group really? Love Has Really? Not won. a real one? <laughs> self-proclaimed. Self-proclaimed. I'm self-certifying as a god. Yeah, I don't need eyes. What are you talking about? <laughs> the, the group was called Love Has Won. The group has been branded no, by hasn't. law enforcement as a cult. The investigation into the corpse led to the arrest of seven members of the group on various charges, including child abuse. I mean, obviously that must be unrelated to the corpse, right? Uh, yeah, because she was 45. And abuse of a corpse... Uh, but no one's been charged for her death. Mm. Abusing a corpse. I mean, they just put glitter on it and wrapped it in Christmas lights, right? Oh, they mummified it. I don't know how, what to what extreme they mummified it. You know what I mean? Maybe they, they, like you fill it with sawdust or something. You harvest organs and replace it with something, I think, when you mummify something, right? You yeah. Some you some fucked up shit. You embalm them. Really? Is that mumming? Is that th mumming them? Is embalming them? didn't they in egypt they did but i guess you can mummify someone just by sort of wrapping them up i think embalming feels weird because you need a motor because you're basically pumping embalming fluid around their veins well i thought they you? i but I, th I thought they i thought well, maybe they embalmed them in, in egypt but i don't know if it, maybe they just like soaked them in a solution or something yeah dip them in a bit of prit stick or something yeah. Keep them together. Uh, d d d the Sagwash, Sagwash County Sheriff's Office found the body on Wednesday after receiving a tip from a suspected member of the group. Christ. <laughs> I like... <laughs> you know, like, what, what's that, like, uh, Quoth the Raven or something like that? Mm. And it's Edgar like... Alan Poe. Uh, yeah, and it's like, I think there's like a body under the floorboards or something. And it's oh, the, the Telltale Heart. Oh yeah, that's yeah. I'm mixing up Simpsons episodes here. Yeah, uh, but yeah, yeah. So the Telltale Heart is like there's there's a uh, they bury a body underneath the floorboards and like the thought of the body drives them insane where they have to confess. Yeah, I just like that instead of a creepy thing under the floorboards, it's just flashes of like uh, uh, their their mother god wrapped in Christmas lights and glitter and be like, <gasps> <laughs> I have to tell somebody. Because they probably didn't see it without her eyes. It's just like, oh, no. it's just a dead body wrapped in badly wrapped Christmas lights and a bit of glitter. That'll be fine, won't it? Yeah. The affidavit said that Mr. Lamboy said it was obvious that Mrs. Carlson was dead because her eyes were missing. So I think this is like the well, police on the scene. I, was, I mean, like, that's discriminatory against people who've got no eyes. Did, did you bother taking that a guy's pulse? got no eyes. Nah, he must no be eyes. dead. No, no, I'm just blind. Like, just... I just had an unfortunate accident as a child. I'm yeah. fine. No, no. No eyes, no life. I wrapped in Christmas lights. Stated the body appeared to be mummified with her teeth exposed through her lips. What? Body was found in headquarters. Uh, Coulson was deemed to be dead for weeks. 
and her body might have been taken to Colorado from Oregon. Oh, she, maybe she had like a dead trip. Well, she's a god, isn't she? She can do what she wants. Yeah. Love Has One has not announced the death of its leader, but one of its members posted an encrypted message that said she hasn't passed away, she's ascended. Like Jesus. Like Jesus's grandma. So, wrap her in Christmas, and on the third yeah. day... Take out her eyes, or let her eyes deflate. Yeah. Bit You'll come back, and Christmas ascend. is gone. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I understand a good cult, to be fair. Like, it, it, it just fills that hole that people so desperately want to be led and so yeah. desperately want to be told what to do because it alleviates step one from people's lives. But it's they just all- go, well, I just do, I've been told to do this, so I'll just do this and I'm getting more orders and that's fine because I know what but I'm doing now. There's also so much of... Um- so, so much of who who we are as people that um that, that's led or defined by by a group by the people we surround ourselves with and there's yeah. so much fear of about being left out i think i used to have it maybe a bit when i was younger but as i've gotten older it's just like i'm i'm fairly independent yeah and i actually kind of like i enjoy the conflict with the group more than i enjoy being a part of it and the conflict like through sort of uh, through 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 just questioning things, not like looking for a fight. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But like, well, yeah. as as well as there being it being a negative in terms of like people don't think for themselves. There's just another thing of yeah, people just accept things that are maybe unacceptable. I mean, um, or they believe things just because their society believes it. I mean, the the old thing is you know Americans you know, uh, cutting baby penises and having gunshot, yeah, people getting shot in school. It's like, well, it's just part of the, that's just how it is. And, you know, if it's just told to you enough, you accept it as it's kind of fine. This is just the world we live in. And yeah, it's much more, my, I've always been a bit more of like, yeah, it's to challenge that and be like, well, if I, are you are you willfully accepting that? Are you saying that that's fine? Or are you just going along with it? Mm. Because if you willfully accept something, I'm game. Hey, you can believe whatever you want to believe, so long as you know that you're actively believing it, as opposed to just not challenging something. Yeah, it's a bit more. I mean, I used to put milk in my pot noodles. I still do if I'm feeling fancy, and that's because my nan used to do it so that it cooled down the pot noodle faster, like a cup of tea. But not like. <laughs> no, but you know what you, I mean? You already put water in it. Why not just put a bit of cold water in it? I uh, know, cause tea, mate. Like right. you know, a cup of tea, put hot water, you put a bit more milk in it. That's what my nan's process was. <laughs> to be fair, it would just it would just make it a bit creamy. I don't think. Yeah, and I only I only mainly did it with chicken and mushroom, which is obviously kind of meant to be goes it's with cream anyway. Yeah, and it didn't make it too much creamier, but it did. Yeah, so it's like oh, all right, I can do this. And then when I tell people when I, when people make me pot noodle, I say, "Where's the milk?" <laughs> They were like, what? <laughs> I was like, well, you know, you've lived your whole life not challenging the world. Why not put milk in your pot noodle, you sheep? I was a renegade. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so long as you willfully uh, follow something, I think, it's, I think it's fine. But yeah, I think it's definitely, the people want to be led, people want to be told what to do, but that's just the majority of people. And if you're a part of the majority, then I think you're going to do that. Yeah, but It's more fun to be step one. I'm liking the phrase step one. Mm. feels like a good uh mantra or feels like a good title or a segment or a show yeah step one sounds powerful Be in other short one. news yeah or initiating step one you know what i mean so what's yeah. going on today step one <laughs> uh you know i've got two short news here two bits of short news a young woman has tried to adopt her friend has she not succeeded uh, against think, well, the friend's tried- will <laughs> Well, it's a whole long and serious article about, I think her friend is in a care home and has um, somewhat of a disability. So instead of having a carer, she's like, I'll be her carer, but I'll also be her guardian, essentially. Right. But I like the idea that you can, one, if you're looking for friends, you can just go adopt one. Yeah. You know what I mean? And how, like, can you imagine adopting me? It would be it would be pretty nuts if you came to me one day and were just like, Steve, you're adopted. I'm like, what? No, no, I'm I not own you now. by me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're coming to live with me now, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> just... I am your legal guardian. <laughs> <laughs> just it feels it feels like another thing about the world that maybe you should challenge. <laughs> yeah. Just, well, just own. 
your friends. Well, why can't yeah. I adopt him? Yeah, I mean, He's I'm my a responsible friend. adult. They're unaware. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so this was in Russia. And I think, yeah, there's a whole thing about uh, care homes. So I think the person had uh, special requirements. And the person was like, hey, we get along great. How do I get you out of this facility and into my house? Oh, I can adopt you. Fair enough. And uh, in other news, similar news, Ed Sheeran is sponsoring a football team. All right. But I like it because that means that on their shirts, it's going to be like Ed Sheeran. (laughs) (laughs) That's confusing. (laughs) And Ed Sheeran, pass the ball to Ed Sheeran, Ed Sheeran (laughs) running up the field. (laughs) Yeah, I just, I've, you've always assumed it's going to be corporations, you know, like Nike or something like that. Yeah. No, it's just going to be a picture of Ed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is, this is life now. He just sponsors, a, it's his local football team that he's supported. And um, yeah, he's just like, I want to financially support them. I'll oh, sponsor them. How many of those guys are already sick of Ed Sheeran and now they've got to have him on their shirt? Yeah, I mean, what's the like the, the the crowd chants are all going to be? I don't know any Ed Sheeran, yeah. but like, oh, they're going to be Ed Sheeran songs, which I get the f- I get, seem to remember not enjoying Ed Sheeran very much. Feels like a younger thing, but I don't I yeah. haven't really listened to him very much. Uh, and that's it. That's, 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 that's a few quick news. Jesus Christ, I've got quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of articles, but we'll figure I'll figure out if I can Gosh. cut some down. Uh, a coastal town in Japan is facing criticism after it spent emergency funds intended for coronavirus measures on a giant statue of a squid. <laughs> 